Hey everyone, Sue's Journal Adventures here. Um, I finished my playing about with bits, only just about 10 minutes ago. Um, I've been playing with bits again, but um, I've come on here today with a bit of a challenge. So a lot of you who watch me regularly will know that I'm on several Facebook groups. <clears throat> Excuse me. And on one of the Facebook groups, which is so darn twisted rebecca um she's got a youtube channel so you can watch her videos but she's also got a facebook page and she does this weekly challenge and i just thought that is such a cool idea i was going to join in on it today but i couldn't comment the comments had been turned off because there were that many that were going in for it so i'm going to leave this here so that you can take a quick screenshot of it because what you can do is challenge yourself once a week to make something with the bingo challenge numbers. So what happens normally is you will message Rebecca and say, yes, please. And she'll give you four numbers and you've got to make something with what corresponds to those numbers. So I thought, how can I do this on YouTube? I could put um someone put in the comments for numbers and the first person that comments i make something out of that stuff or um you can ask me for numbers you could put in the comments yes please and i'll send you four numbers the only problem with that is you can't show me what you've made so that kind of takes the enjoyment out of it a little bit doesn't it but i thought what i could do as a youtuber is maybe once a week or once a fortnight I will just maybe do a video from this, just a random. So I'll pick four numbers, I'll see what they correspond to, and I will make something on camera. So that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> so if you take the numbers, they all correspond to different things. So you've got things like um, belly band, tag, pocket, journal card. So... They could be the base, and then you've got three other things to put on. I don't know if Rebecca picks the numbers in a way where you get one of the things to make, like a tag or an envelope or a bucket, pocket or whatever, and then you get three other things to make it with. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I don't know how she does it, but I'm just going to turn this over, and I'm just going to randomly pick, I don't know, 3, 16, 7, 12. Right, let me write them down because I'll forget. 3, 16, 7, 12. They're my numbers for this challenge, for this video. Play along if you want. Play along. Um, take a quick screenshot of that and you can play along. So, so what did I pick? Three. Number three is an envelope. Okay, I need to write this down on a bit of paper because... Yeah, envelope. I know I've got this here, but <laughs> envelope. What did I see? 3, 16, 7, 12. 16 is a butterfly. Butterfly. I can't even remember. What did I say? <laughs> 7 and 12. 7 is a tag. Okay. Oh my goodness. My brain is terrible. 12. 12 words words oh, okay so i have kind of got to make a tag but encompass an envelope a butterfly and a word oh okay right so i need to get some stuff out well i've got some butterflies out because i've just been making a little card i just made a little um tag thing with a really weird completely different back I just made a ruffle pocket and then <laughs> it's like two completely different styles, isn't it? And I just made this. Now, I do need a bit of help, guys, because I used my sewing machine to sew the paper in and it's gone really lovely and neat down the middle. But what the heck is going on there? What is that about? I don't know what's happening and the machine keeps clogging up all the time. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch some tutorials, I guess. But anyway, let me get an envelope. So I've got to make a tag. I'm probably going to make a tag using an envelope. 
because that would be the easiest way of doing it. So let me find an envelope because there's loads of them in this box somewhere. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> Just need to find an envelope. Pick a cup up. There we go. An envelope, a tag. Well, I think the envelope is going to be my tag. Um, a butterfly and a word. Okay, that's not much to go on really, is it? But envelope. Okay. So I think the envelope, probably that one. The envelope is going to be my tag, I think. So I'm an envelope. I'm just going to put this to the side. Um, so if you want a screenshot of it, do it now. Um, an envelope. Right, I've got an envelope, which is also going to be a tag. I've no idea. <laughs> I've no idea what I'm doing here, guys. But this is the challenge. So I'm going to cut this down to about the same length and chop all that off because tags don't need to be that big, do they? Okay, that bit can go in because it's skaggy, and I will save that bit. Um, <coughs> excuse me, an envelope, a butterfly, a tag and a word, right, so this is going to be my tag, it's also my envelope, butterfly, we'll sort that in a minute, word, okay, I've got some words over here, um, well, what we're going to do then, we're going to, that end's open, so I'll do it at, I'll do it at that end, I'm just going to, I'm just going to corner it. So that it looks like a tag. There we go. Um, this is literally fly by the seat of your pants. Don't know what I'm doing. Totally just, yeah, playing a game. Right, so I think um, this is obviously my tag. Probably could do with being a bit thicker for being a tag, really. But I might back it onto some card later on. Right. Okay. How we're gonna do this? Do I stencil? Do I washi tape? I think I fancy stenciling, you know. Um, okay, let me get some ink. Ink? What am I doing? No, not ink. A stencil. Where are my stencils? Oh, there. Right. I'm gonna stencil. Oh, and I'm gonna get my big stencils out. <laughs> my big ones. Um, what are we gonna have? We're gonna have not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Oh, that one, maybe that one. What even is that? Yeah, go on, we'll go for that. Um, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still groggy, as you can probably tell. Um, right, I'm just, I just want a piece of, or maybe the other side of the envelope, hey, just to put on there so I don't get it on my window while I'm stenciling this side. Actually, I could do, I could do top and bottom. Um, colour, colour, hmm, what colour shall we have? What colour shall we have? Should we have something completely different that we don't use the right lot? Like, um, I don't know where it's gone. Faded jeans. Let's have faded jeans. I don't use faded jeans the right lot. I need a dauber. A blue one. That's purple. That's turquoise. Do they have a blue one? I do. There we go. Right. Okay. So I'm going to do some stenciling. This is challenge. I hope you've um, picked some numbers and are joining in with me. That'll be so cool. I just wish I could see what you made because we could I could allocate people numbers in the comments, but I'd never actually get to see what you'd made. <laughs> so it's a bit it's a shame you can't share pictures on YouTube, innit? So I'm just gonna do that bit there. And then I'm gonna move that over and do that side. It doesn't matter if it matches up. So let's get this ink on there and just go over the oh crikey, go over this bit. So this is yeah, I like this. I've not actually participated in this challenge on Facebook 
that today I was looking at and I thought, oh yeah, why why don't you participate? So I was just going, trying to go on the comments to put yes, please, so that they could allocate me some numbers. And I realised I couldn't do it. They turned the comments off because there's just so many people that had um, joined. So let me get a bit of some up there because it's a bit bald there. There we go. So there we go. Lid. Lid, lid. Right, so we've done that. So it's a tag made out of an envelope. So do I leave the background as it is? It's blue. Kind of all right, I think. Um, I need to glue down the edge. But I would like something in there. Probably a butterfly. Let's have a look at my... Where's my butterflies? Oh, I've got some really beautiful butterflies. Where are they? Where are they? Um, crystal butterflies, where are you? There they are. I can never, never, never get everything back. Oh, I'll just keep them there, actually, a minute. Put them there, put that there. Sorry, I've got piles and piles of boxes behind me. Ooh! Ooh, ooh look. <laughs> He's no good. He's a big, thick plastic thing. Right, so tag envelope but so i'm going to go around the edges with my blue as well faded jeans um so yeah the majority of it's left to your imagination but you do have to use the things that correspond with the numbers that you're given so yeah if anybody wants to play this challenge and wants me to give them some numbers just put in the comments um yes please and I'll assign you four numbers. If you haven't managed to screenshot the list, I'll put the list on again at the end. But even if you miss it, um, I'll tell you what the numbers correspond to. So, so yeah, thank you, Rebecca, for this idea. It's cool. So I've got these beautiful guys. Maybe a little bit too big. I've got some blue ones somewhere. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice, but a little bit too big. Can you see? I'm going off screen a bit there. Um, I've also got these, like, flowery bits. They're nice. Uh, I don't know if I want one of these or I want a paper one. Do I want a paper one? Because I've got... Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? It doesn't have to be blue, but... Oh, that's nice. I like that. In fact, I think I might just have more than one or even a bigger one is there a bigger one i can't have a bigger one because i want to kind of well, i've got a really big one i could have a big one because i could put it on the outside but i kind of want to put it on the inside of the um thingy thingy <laughs> envelope you know them things we use in the post i don't know whether to use one of these crystal ones or one of these blue ones or no, oh, there's just too much choice, guys. Too much choice for somebody like me. I have got blue ones somewhere. I've got blue, pink, and green. And I've also got like, whoops, moonstone kind of ones. Oh, where did that go? It cannot just disappear. Apparently, it can in my drawer. Right. Um, these are the blue ones. I like that. Oh, that's pretty. I feel that needs to go on the outside. Okay, okay. I've got an idea. I've got an idea, guys. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Sit down, Sue's got an idea. I think inside here, um, I might put that on the out... Oh, that's really pretty. Might put that on the outside, but then put some of these things on the inside. Hmm, this is looking like an interesting tag, isn't it? I could get that in. Um, something along that idea. Bit of decoration inside. I don't know if that looks right now, though. What's it look like through camera? Eh, not bad. Oh, they are so pretty. Um, hmm. 
I would like, to be honest, I would like the butterfly on the inside. So I might go with that purpley blue one. It's more purple than blue, but put him on the inside. Yeah, I think I want to do that. I think I want to do that, you know, I do. So I'm going to put some glue on him, her, whoever, whatever, flutter by person thing. Right. Sorry, I'm messing. This is my old glue. There was still quite a bit in it and I just thought, I've had it upside down for a while. Why don't you just use that? So that's why I'm messing with this one. Right, so I'm going to put that inside here and hopefully get it straight and where I want it in the middle-ish. Is that straight? Mm -hmm. I think it could go over just a tiny bit. I'm liking this challenge. It's good. It makes it just makes you do something. You've got to think. So I also think I'd like some of these whoops here and there. Um, but I'd maybe like to cut them a little bit so that I don't get the like arc because I don't want the archy kind of. I don't know, is it supposed to be a crescent or something? Whatever it is, I don't want it like that anyway. So I'm going to glue that down. It's not going to be a pocket. It's just going to be a tag made from an envelope. I love this idea. Thank you, Becca. So I'm going to seal it all up. And you watch, I'll want to put some else on inside now. Stamp or some flowers or something. <laughs> you know, when I've stuck it down, I like that. I like this. Um, so I think I might put some of these kind of, I'll put some on there onto the acetate a little bit. And what else have I got on there? Here, we'll have them. We'll have these because they're small. Just cut the myriad of plastic off and cut that off. Okay, so we'll have that. And I might as well use the other end, I guess. So, never wants to leave you that stuff, does it? No, oh, I, don't, I don't like that you can see that plastic. I'm so fussy about the plastic. I think I'm going to put that there and then that leaves me that bit but I've also got these um, little things Ooh. oh they are proper stuck oh nice a bit pale I prefer something a bit darker how about that Oh, that's nice. That is nice, but it does kind of not dark enough, is it? What about that? That's too dark and too big. Way too big. <laughs> that's way too big. That could have gone inside. That could have gone inside and my butterfly could have sat on the edge. Oh, well. Have I got any more blue ones in here? I've got that. I don't really like that. That's a bit... He's not really blue, which makes it a bit... A bit strange, but um, is there any more in here? I need to make some more of these. Don't actually have very many. I've got that one. Oh, that's cute. It's kind of cute. I kind of like it, but I don't really like it. I think I'll just stick with my stickers. What are these little ones? Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll stick with these. But I might just add something, hmm, I don't know, something pretty on there. Not that these are not pretty, but so let's just chop around that, get that bit off. Start on that bit. 
So where's this going to go? Is this going to go here? Hmm. Down here. I think down here. I like it there. Put it there. Oh, I've got to put, what is it? A word. A word. I need a word as well. Okay. Um. Don't forget the word, Sue. I'm going to just chop that off just there. And then put it round. So it goes up properly. Like that. Right. Okay, so I need a word. I have got some blue words somewhere in my word box. <laughs> words. Words. Oh, crikey. Looking for a word through here. If a blue, a blue word is going to take way too long. A word. A word. A blue word. I have got loads of blue words. In fact, hang on. Bear with me. Bear with me a second. I like this challenge thing. It's pretty cool. Um, just let me get my... Sorry, I've got to dig about in my the, in the cupboard down here. Um, oh my goodness, what on earth is going on in this cupboard? Is this my words? Oh, no. Blue spring kit. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Why is the... Not that any of you are going to know the answer, but it's just like, I'm like, why the heck is there cereal boxes in there? They're all supposed to be in the ottoman. Right, words, words, blue, blue. We've got blue words. We oh, look. Oh, these are nice. Are these a bit too big, though? Yeah, I think they might be a bit too big. Um... Let's just see. Sorry. <laughs> Not got a great view there at the moment. Right. Got that. I've also got some smaller blue words. Um, I don't quite know where they are though. I've got hundreds of words in here. Literally hundreds. They're like a bluey grey. -y actually got them in blue. There we go, blue. Oh, and all the cream have come out as well. Don't you just hate it when your word, sorry, I've just banged the camera then. Um, when all your word sheets are getting cut into and then they just don't lie flat anymore. Drives you mad. Right, so do I want one of these? I think that might be a bit big. Mm. I mean, I could take it down but it, yeah it's not the right blue is it really um what shall we have faith into my own under laughter notes gorgeous blossom autumn oh, I just have faith because it's just there on the edge and it's easier to get to than cutting in the middle of others oh, this chair is really squeaky <laughs> i will just chop them like that oops and i'll put them in me Cut words box. Right. Give us this. Okay. This shouldn't be too long a video, hopefully. So I don't waffle too much. Right. So that's pretty much it, isn't it? Tag envelope, butterfly word. I think I've done it. So I'm just going to put. Where do I put that? There. What's that? Get away. Um, yep. Oh, you're very close. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> right. I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to put it there. Oops. Give me all this. I'm going to use my other glue because that one's uh, been sat up the right way now. Gideon, come on out. It's been sat upside down for about 10 minutes. Longer, actually. Because I decided to use my old one. Try and use my old one up. 
So this has been sat upside down while I was making them other little things. I'm still making little things. I am trying to use up scraps, but I just I think it's actually an impossible task because every time you're making stuff, you're kind of sort of making more scraps. <laughs> it's a never-ending story, isn't it? Um, I did kind of want a cute little flower on there, a biggish one in the corner, but I'm going to back this onto some card so that it is actually more like a tag. I don't like that that does that, but it's because of the um, acetate. It bubbles a bit. Um, card. Card, card, any card. I did have a piece of card on my desk. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Right, okay. I'll find a piece of card later and make it into an actual tag. But for now, um, I've got some of... Do I want that? No. Do I want that? Yeah. Oh, we're all in a knotty knot here. Oh, wait a minute. What about that one? That one's nice. Yeah, I want that one. That one. I can find end of it. So, well, actually, I need to back it onto card then, don't I? Because if I'm putting a, punching a hole and putting some ribbon in, I kind of need it on the card, don't I? Card, card, where's a piece of card when you want one? No, just a bog standard bit of white card. Not that. Um, oh, where did I see that card? There was a piece of card on my desk. This is card. This will do. This will do. I'm just going to glue it down on here. I've reverted back to old glue, haven't I? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, just let me get the other one. Not that the other one comes out any better, to be fair. But this is like over a quarter full. Right, so. So yeah, try this challenge. And it's fun. You could do it like once a week. Just play this game once a week and challenge yourself. You can challenge your friends. If you've got any junk journaly uh, crafty friends, you could do the challenge together. And then share what you've made. Create a little WhatsApp bingo group <laughs> and uh, do a weekly challenge. Someone would have to be um, kind of the one to allocate numbers, I guess. Unless you just pick your own, just shut your eyes and pick three numbers and four numbers, sorry, and then just do it. Right, that's that. Ooh. Okay, put your lid on properly. Okay, let's cut this out. Sorry, I'll take you back up a bit because kind of in your face a bit. Uh, let's hope I can cut this without cutting the envelope open again. It's quite thick card, this actually. <laughs> Trust me, I picked the thickest card I could get hold of. But that's good. At least it's going to be a sturdy tag. Okay, shove that back under there. That bits box is getting flipping horrendous under there. It's nearly up to the shelf. Right, let's just chop that off. Chop that off. I'm taking just a slight edge of the thing to make sure I get right up to it. And I didn't with this, so I'm going to try and do it from that side. There we go. So I want my ink again. And just go around that a bit more. And then I'm going to go around that too. Give that a blue edge. There you are. I challenge you to a game of bingo, girls. <laughs> Not traditional bingo, just, um, yeah, 
pick four numbers and make some up with the things that come up in the numbers. Right, I'd say that's about the middle there, eyeballing. Can I get my thing in? Well, let me have a look. Yeah, there, I'd say. I'm going to go for it there. And I'm going to get a little bit of this. And I'm going to call it done. There we go. Cool. How cute is that? I like that. You see, this is what I need, is something to inspire me. Because the other night I was sat here trying to use up my scraps and bits and could not think of anything. And there you go. Bingo challenge. Pick a few numbers. Actually, this would be good. Trust them not to come through together. Um, oh, seriously. I'll start it out now. I've got to sort it out now because I'm OCD. I'm not really OCD, but... Oh, right. Get through the hole together. <laughs> Come on. Get through the hole together. Go through that hole together, preferably. And then when I pull you tight... I want a long and a short bit. There we go. How pretty is that little bingo challenge envelope tag butterfly word challenge? So that were my um, numbers. If anybody wants any numbers, ask me in the comments and I will allocate you four numbers. If you don't have the list to tell you what the numbers correspond to, I will just put the list there again for a second. Um, just move my desk, move my desk, clear my desk a little bit so I can actually put the thing there. So there you go. That's my bingo challenge. Now you have a go and do yours. Take a screenshot of this and then just pick four numbers at random, see what they correspond to and make something. Enjoy! I enjoyed that. I'll see you again on the next one. I might do another one of these next week. So, um, yeah, see what we come up with, eh? And thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.